Welcome in, welcome in, family and friends. Have a seat, kick up your feet. Guess what y'all gonna do with me? Y'all about to eat some sushi. I'm Bobby G. I'm doing my thing, doing my thing. Doing my thing, doing my thing. Doing my thing, doing my thing. Okay. What's poppin' people? Blessings, peace, love, strength, all that good stuff. It's me, your girl, Bobby G, and I am here with another mukbang, guys. I am so stoked about this sushi today, y'all. This sushi is called the Green Dragon, so it's shrimp, and then it's um, it's crab, but I'm positive that it is artificial crab. I don't like to say artificial crab because you know it's really um, fish, so let's just say imitation crab, okay? And then I have my coconut water, and then this is regular soy sauce here, and then this right here is the soy sauce alternative, okay? is it called again it's um liquid aminos this is the um from the same brand as the um the um apple cider vinegar the brags with the uh, mother earth in it this is really really good i marinate a lot of my food in this and anytime i have sushi i use this it's, it's just so good this is what i marinate like my my um shrimp and my fish in it is delicious okay well right now what we're going to do how you guys doing how are you guys doing i miss y'all so much let me tell you guys something before we get into what we gonna get into i'll be missing you guys i think so hard daily about like all of the positive comments that i receive all of the support that i receive and i really appreciate you guys so much i am really enjoying myself you know, on this platform. And I just want you guys to know that, you know, I may not get back to you guys as quick, you know, as I would like to, but I promise you, I will get back to you, you know, and answer all comments. And then sometimes you guys, I feel so bad because, you know, some comments, I, I always go and check my other videos because sometimes comments pop up and I don't see them until like I'm checking other videos. So please just be patient with me and know that you are so appreciated in my life. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is give a few shout outs. Okay, now, okay, I'm not sure I'm going to say this name correctly, but I want to shout out Pink Chaka. Okay, now. That's not what we're going to say. Pink Chakate. Girl, please say that I'm saying your name correctly. Please. Please. It's so important to get your name correctly. If I am not, can you please break it down in the um, comments? You guys, please go and check her out. She is the bomb. I also want to send a shout out to Love Francis. Hey, you. Hey, you. Hey. And also, it's simply... Trina, hey, and the life of Steffi, hey girl, hey girl, you are absolutely gorgeous, I so love your channel, I enjoyed your channel today, and I just wanted to send you a shout out, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. blessing, peace, love, strength, all that good stuff, okay guys, I am really starving, so I'm going to get into this, but I also want to let you guys know that, let me get comfortable guys, my niece, Marissa, she like enjoyed my video yesterday. She was like, oh my gosh. She was like, I just really like you, you know, interacting so much and, you know, giving story time or whatever. So I would like to ask you a few questions. So y'all, I'm gonna have to put on some glasses because here are the few questions right here. These are the questions. And the questions are about self-love she she was like i want to know what you feel self-love is so um i'm gonna break it down to y'all i'm gonna tell y'all what i feel self-love is and means but first let me just open this up right here my famous you know coconut water y'all know i like so i had to have a straw because i didn't really have room for a glass or anything so i have to let me just take a little sip 
yummy, yummy, yummy. Do you guys drink coconut water? I can't live without coconut water. This isn't the only brand I drink at all. You know what coconut water I really like? It's at Costco's and it is the Costco's brand. And there's like 12 in a case for $9.99. The bomb. I love that. Okay. So let me just get into this just a little bit. I'm going to pour a little bit of this. Okay, guys. This is yellow um, bell pepper. And I don't know if you guys know what this is. And I always forget the name of this, but it's radish. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Radish, my ginger, wasabi, same thing on this side. I'm about to tear this up. I have eaten nothing all day. I hope you guys are doing well today. You know your girl is blessed and highly favored. Yes, she is. I hope that you guys are too. I wish you nothing but blessings and peace and love and joy and strength and all that good stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, I would try to, um, oh, guys, this, how much, I don't think this is any sodium, but this is only like five calories. You don't see that good. I'm about to tear this machine. Oh, okay. Let me get in, dig into this right here. Oh, this is regular sushi, I mean, soy sauce that's right here, guys. And this is like the low sodium for the people out there, is this upside down? Yes, it is. For the um, people out there who really enjoy sushi and they want soy sauce, you know that, and you know it's very high in um, sodium, but they have like a low sodium one, so you really should try this, okay? But let me get into this right here. Oh my, I'm so hungry, guys. I waited for this all day. Guys, you guys know I'm really not messing with any carbs, but I didn't get the sushi today. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So good, so good, so good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Y'all see my hair? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is good. I need to drench it. Guys, I know that everyone thinks soy is really good for you. Like tofu, edamame. But it's only really good for you if it's fermented. Okay. If it's not fermented, do your research on it. I'm not going to be preaching. But if it's not fermented, you don't really want to mess with them. Mm. My little greedy self didn't even offer y'all none. I don't have no manners sometimes. Okay, I can't reach way out there. If y'all can't, mm -mm, if y'all can't lean y'all head in, mm, mm, y'all just not going to be good enough. Hmm. Here you go. Come on, all the greedy people. Mm-hmm. There you go. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 Okay, guys, I'm going to have to put on my little glasses so that I can read Marissa's questions. Okay. Oh, Lord. There you guys go. I can see you. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. Oh, me. Oh, me. Oh, my. Wait a minute. This looks like it's going to. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I can't see. Guys, I can't see. Mm, mm, oh, mm, grease real stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Okay, these are her questions. 
self-love, okay? So number one, question number one. What does self-love mean to you? Okay, what does self-love mean to me? Okay. Self-love to me means to take care of self, to spend a little time with self, educate self, motivate self, love self, build self up with no guilt whatsoever. Um, I feel like when you eat healthy, you work out, you pray, you read, I feel like you're building yourself up and you are loving yourself. I feel like when you do not compare yourself to anyone else, that is self-love. I feel like when you, you know, accept a compliment from someone, that is self-love. When you accept your flaws and you can live with them, that is self-love. When you try to be the best person you can be and be fair, you treat people the way that you want to be treated, I feel like that is self-love. Okay, that was question number one. Let me get into a little bit of ginger. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do I have chopsticks? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Do I know how to use them? Mm -hmm. But today I'm going to um, embrace eating with these fingers. Shout out to like mother, like daughter. Eats. She see be eating with her fingers. It was something that my grandmother used to do. And um, I watched her video and she was discussing how she's always eating with her hands. And I feel like that's, you know, what our ancestors did. You know, they got into the food, you know, them corn, that cornbread and them greens and stuff. Girl, so I ain't mad at you. So shout out to like mother, like daughter eat, period. Okay. Let me get a little bit more of this before I get into our next question. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, this is so good. Mm -hmm. This is absolutely delicious. You know when you eat sushi and then you eat the ginger? The ginger is to clean your palate before you eat a different type of sushi so that you can really appreciate it and taste it and everything. But you know, my greedy ghetto self, child, it is good to me. Let me have my pepper. Y'all know I like my pepper. You got a little bit of pepper? Mm -mm. Okay, let's see if I can see question number two, y'all. Oh my goodness. So, question number two from Marissa. What do you love the most about yourself? Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh, guys. You know, when someone asks you something like that, like what do you love the most about yourself? When we like say something positive about ourselves, we kind of feel like bad, like we're like, stuck up or conceited or whatever, but honestly, what I think I love most about myself is that I'm a fair person. What do they say in scripture? That God isn't fair, he's just. So I don't really like to say fair, but I'm gonna say this. What I like about myself is that I am open-minded and I truly, honestly, treat people the way that I want to be treated. I try my very best. I'm human, so you guys, you know, the, you know, the, the flesh is weak, but the spirit is strong. So, you know, I'm in flesh, but I try my best not to judge people. Um, I never look down on a person at all. I try to befriend, you know, the not popular person, you know, the, the person that people just cast off to the side. I like to get to know them you know, let them know that they're special, you know, that they, you know, that, you know, they are loved or whatever. You know, I, I think I kind of always root for the underdog or whatever. 
But I think what I like most about myself is just that I'm open to, I'm open to knowing that, you know, God's grace, God's love, God's hand on our life is, is real. And, and that we cannot exalt ourselves above anyone, no matter what's going on in your life, who you think you are, who you think you know, who you've been around, you know, what you've done in life. You always should be humble and show love just point blank period and um i really feel like i do that i try my best to keep it real y'all i am not perfect i am so not perfect and sometimes i feel like you know because i like to do makeup i like to look nice often you know you're not gonna catch me outdoors you know looking a mess or anything i feel like people look at me and they judge me and they think that you know, I, I don't know. Sometimes I think that they feel like I think I'm this or that. And I so don't if, like if you really know me, you know that my heart is pure. I am a good person. This is just who I am. This is who I've always been. And um, I don't think I'm better than anybody at all. And I most definitely don't think anybody is better than me. Okay. That was question number two. Okay. Question number three. Wait, y'all know, sometimes I really can't see. So, let me just see, let me see, let me see. What do you love the least? What do you love the least about yourself? <sighs> these questions are so complicated, Marissa. Why would you ask me these questions? Mm. <laughs> let me see. I'm gonna be honest. What I love least about myself is that I be ready for the smoke sometimes, y'all. Mm -hmm. Let me tell y'all why. Let me make an excuse. Let me tell y'all why. I my, my temper is kind of quick, and and it is something that I am truly working on. My uncle Gaston, my grandmother's brother told me years ago that a temper is a trap and it most definitely is and you know I just don't like being disrespected who am I who do I think I am nobody likes being disrespected but y'all it just gets under my skin and I think it's because I try my best to be very respectful okay and um I'm, I'm very nice just you know off top. I'm just a really nice person. But I feel like I always have to explain myself to people. I'm always like, they're like, oh my gosh, I love you. You're so nice. And I'll be like, no, but I'm not all that nice. Because I feel like once someone does something like something that I really don't like, I'm going to like let you know because I'm very blunt. I'm straightforward. I'm going to tell you how it is, you know, what it is and all that. So I feel like, you know, sometimes maybe I can trick people and I don't mean to. Like they think that you know, they take my kindness for weakness and I always try to warn people. I'm like, listen, just as nice as I am, that's just how nice, you know, not nice I can be, but I, I am love and I'm about love, blessings, peace and strength and all that good stuff. That's what I'm about. But I am not a, um, a weak person. And I think sometimes that people take your kindness for weakness. So what I don't like about myself is that if, you know, I feel like I'm being bullied or you're trying to manipulate me or you think I'm weak in any kind of way. You you will no longer be dealing with Bobby Jean. You will be dealing with Bobby from the sixth grade. And y'all, she ain't she ain't that nice. Okay. She I, I don't wanna see her no more. That's all I'm gonna say to y'all. Let me just take a little bit of this. And um Marissa, I I said you can write some questions, but don't be getting all deep. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all know I'm hungry because I keep eating. Okay. I'm trying to make this video quick. Mm. Oh, it's only five questions. Okay, let's see. What are you proud of yourself for? Don't make me cry. 
I have to think hard because I don't know if I'm proud of myself. Or, um, let me see. Hmm. I'll say this. No, I can't because I'm going to cry. No, I don't want to cry. So I'm going to say um, one thing that... Um, one thing that has shocked me about myself is um, that I don't want to cry, guys. One thing that has shocked me about myself is that my uh, my sister is ill. You guys know she's battling multiple sclerosis, and um, and I never really thought that you know that I would be able to you know, be any kind of caregiver for a person and um, do the things that are necessary to take care of a person. And I honestly and truly, you know, feel blessed that I can, you know, take care of my sister and that my sister can be with me. And I try to make her as comfortable as possible. And I put her first in my life. And, you know, I, you know, a lot of people compliment me about that but I don't need any compliments I don't I don't want any pity I don't want any sympathy I don't I don't need you to be like oh my gosh you're doing such a great job I'm just proud of myself that that I am able to to help you know because my I feel like my sister is doing the hard part and so my part is easy you know so when I just think about you know just all the things in in life that she and I have been through together and in in this you know that you know we're going through together I'm I'm just so proud when you know she says that you know thank you Bobby I love you I appreciate you you know I I thank you so much for helping me you know and let me tell you guys something about my sister she never complains about anything she never complains about anything at all nothing nothing i don't care how much pain she's in i don't care how uncomfortable she's in you know she's bedridden she never complains at all and um and I, i'm just proud that i'm able to assist her to help her to make her feel comfortable to make her feel loved to let her know that you know she's doing the hard part but she's not you know doing it alone so that's what i'm proud of okay let's move on let's see Okay, I'm most definitely not going to be able to see this because she wrote this in um, green and I have no clue why. But let's see. Okay. What's my best personality trait? I don't want you guys to think I made up any of these questions. So, can you guys see these questions? Can you guys see them? So, what's my best personality trait? Well, besides the point that I'm, I'm popping, y'all. Okay, I think that my best personality trait is, okay, I can't just say one because it's two, because your girl gifted. So, it's two things. I think my best, the two best, I have to say the two because it's, it, these are the things I like about myself. I love the fact that I am truly a giver. I've been a giver my whole entire, entire life. I love giving. I love making people happy. I um, cannot endure seeing people struggling or you know not having or you know feeling bad about something or whatever so I, I i'll do anything for anybody anything at all and also i am funny let me tell y'all i really for real be the life of the party you better ask somebody you better ask Shanice. you better ask trina you better ask bonnie you better ask tanisha you better ask Marissa. Hmm? I'm just telling y'all. Y'all better ask these people. Ask Queen. Ask my cousin Maui. Ask my cousin Monique. I'm just telling y'all. I'll be so funny sometimes. Y'all, call Oh No She Didn't and ask Oh No She Didn't. Do I be cracking her up? Mm -hmm. Yo, girl is funny. I'm funny. I'm lovable, you guys. I try my best to really, really be kind and nice because this is this is what i felt deep in my heart truly honestly all jokes aside but i am funny i feel like you know we are all blessed daily to be here on earth you know life is a gift okay and you know 
you know, the word says that God came that we may have life and have life more abundantly. And I appreciate this gift of life. I, I am so grateful for my family, my friends. I'm, I'm so grateful for you guys because I don't want to be on earth if I can't be on earth with the people that I love, you know, the people that I've grown up with, you know, the people that I've gone through things with. Monique and Tanisha, I love you guys so much. I know that we don't see each other, but I don't know why I'm so emotional. We don't see each other often or anything, and it's not my fault. It's all y'all's fault because y'all can do better, especially you, Coop. Especially you. You just right next door. You can do better. Uh -huh. Monique, I know that you all the way in New York, but you can do better. Y'all can come see y'all girl, okay? Because y'all know I'm always ready to turn up. But I love my friends and I love my family so much. I appreciate Queen Mahogany, Monique, Stanley. I appreciate all of my cousins, Faith, Robert, Tamitha, Tabitha. I so appreciate my Aunt Trish. I love you so much. Thank you for everything that you do for me. I just love my family. Mommy, I love you so much. Rhonda, I love you so much. Tiffany, Caitlin, and Mel, we need to do better. You guys, I have it's six of us sisters. My oldest sister is Rhonda. My second sister is Cindy. I'm the third. I'm the baby of the oldest. And then we have Tiffany, Caitlin, and Mel. I love you guys. I love you so much. I have so many nieces and nephews. Tonisha, Tiana, Taylor, Tyler, Anthony. And then I have my greats. Uh, you guys, I have such a big family. I love all of you guys. I want. I don't want this video to be, you know, super long. But I just want you guys to know, even my new friends, I love you guys. I love you guys. The Sela channel, I appreciate the very, very, very kind message that you left me on today. I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. I know that you're always praying for me. And I just feel so blessed for that. Thank you. The Brown Couch Therapy is my big sister. And I just love you so much because you are always encouraging me and pushing me and praying for me. I love you. I love you all. I love you guys. Heath, I love you so much because you are always there for me no matter what. You guys, Heath is my brother from another mother and I love him so much. He is so kind to me. He let me talk mess. He let me go off. He is just there whenever anything is going down. He is there for me and I appreciate it so much. I appreciate you guys, all of you. Renee Claiborne. I'm so sorry I don't remember your, your new last name. You're Mary. But you have said on um, Instagram, girl, that we've been knowing each other um, for 25 years. It's been a lot longer, but I ain't going to tell nobody your age because we've been knowing each other since first grade. Point blank. Period. But I just want to say to all my new subscribers, I love you. My old subscribers, I adore you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. If you guys have liked this video, do me a favor, please. And like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> bell if you like my video like comment subscribe hit the bell if you like my video like comment subscribe hit the bell if you like my video do sis 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 Peace, y'all. And I always also want to send a shout out to Curtis Scott, Don Bill. I love you guys. I miss you guys. We used to always have so much fun together. Yolanda, my best friend's sister. I love you so much, girl. I love you. I love you. I, I just had these these names just went through my mind as I was seeing it by Deuces. Uh, do, uh, uh, deuces. Deuces. As I was singing that. So please, you guys, have had, I have not shot you out yet. I promise you I will. Mm, 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 mm,